Hey guys, welcome to another Substance Painter tutorial, and this is going to be creating holes or the illusion of a hole within your mesh or part of your object that makes it look so. And this is in Substance Painter 2020, it would work with earlier or later, but all you want to do is, let's say for this instance, this object that I've created is sort of a fuse box where I want the fuse to go into the center. Now I want that center bit to be really dark and almost look like it's a hole in there that you could put something in there. Now what we can do to do that, if we just create a new folder, and I will just call this a center for now, what I'll do is right click, add a black mask, I will go on the left hand side and look for the polygon fill, select by UV selection, make sure your selection is all the way in the white area and it's all the way in the value of one. We'll just zoom in and I will left click into these areas and then you will see on my selection it will have selected if you see the little pop out there it will have selected the two areas that I want to fill so what I'll do is I'll select this folder click um, add a fill layer I'll add it to this folder and what I will then do is you can see that it's just masked in that area what we can do is I can get rid of the normal I can set the color cut to completely black and we already start getting something like so but what we can do from then on is we can get rid of the height, we can take the roughness all the way to the top, we can either keep the metallic all the way at the, bo the bottom or all the way to a value of 1 and no matter where we rotate our light it looks like that we've got a hole which goes on forever so you don't even need geometry in there to make that illusion, it could just be a flat surface and it just gives the illusion of that happening and similarly with down here that I want to do the same but this time I want to add them into this and I don't obviously have somewhere that's already say a circle a cylindrical object what I can do again is create a new folder put that above the rest of my folders that I've got and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the by UV selection again select the front parts of these objects and you can see that when I highlight over, if you select something you don't need to, you can select the got all the way into the black and just be able to select on parts of the objects that you didn't mean to actually select, for instance. Then what we'll do from this folder is we'll add another fill layer, drag that into there. This time I will go into the alphas if you've not filtered by alphas and what you want to look for is just a solid circle alpha. Created one in Photoshop, which is just a circle, which is just a black background with a white circle image and I imported that into Substance and I just imported it as a alpha. I do have tutorials on how to make alphas so when you're on that we can create then a black mask on our fill layer make sure that we've selected on our brush tool and we've got the circle selected and you can see that we've got our brush there. What we can do is we could just scale our brush down by holding control and using the scroll wheel and then we can just paint a few selections but because this is all mapped exactly the same they all copy each other so just roughly like this and again we can go on to the actual color options of that fill layer change the color to black we already get something looking a little bit like it what we can do again is get rid of the normal we can get rid of the metallic if we wanted to take the height all the way down to quite a low value and then take the roughness all the way up to the top and as you can see when I rotate the light we get a slight edge on our actual object itself and then as you can see from a distance in our object you can see that it looks like that we've got a bunch of holes here and one in the very center so it's just an easy way just to add folder with a quick fill layer just to be able to mask off specific areas and just turn it to black and put the roughness all the way so we don't get any reflectivity at all. So as such, you can render your object out or use it within a 3D program. And you can obviously use other ways to create indents like I've done here in exactly the same way by using height values and things. And it just makes it really easy. So thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Cheers.